We know it is no surprise to say that there is drama in the Middle East, but this morning we are talking about the second season of Tyrant and the FX network. Actress Moran Atias is one of the stars of the hit show and joins us now to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning, Carly. How are you? Good, good. Excited to have you on the show this morning. Tell me about Tyrant, and a lot of people are going crazy about this show. Of course, now in its second season. How do you describe how this show is? Because I do think it's pretty different than some of the dramas that we, you know, maybe used to seeing. So how do you describe it? Well, it's set in a world that is um, probably the most mysterious part of the world today and, and, and misunderstood, perhaps, and most com complex. Um, it's set, set in the Middle East, and it's set in the Middle East and the politics within the Middle East, unlike other shows, perhaps Homeland that is set in the U.S. and, and how the Middle East perhaps affects it, um, which is created by the same, uh, by the wonderful Howard Gordon. So it, it, it's a similar world. But I think what we, we probably in, the, in our story are, are exploring their inner workings of the politics there within the family who is leading the country, the al Faids. Um, Jamal al Faid, my husband, is the president, and I'm uh, the first lady. And and the threats, the many threats that this palace has within the family, within the palace, and outside of its surroundings, which is pretty much what the Middle East is uh, is um, known for, I guess. Well, and it's funny that you brought that up because it is such a, a mysterious part of the world, a place that people want to learn more about. And I understand. This show, though, was pretty intense, isn't it? That I'm hearing about it. Um, the Middle East is intense, but I think what we've uh, accomplished also is is finding the humanity and and the stories within the family. There's incredible conflicting relationships between even you know just my marriage. Um, I'm married to a man that is is definitely a very challenging man to be married to. And, and the dynamics within that relationship that sometimes, in, in a very undeniable way, affects how we lead the country. Um, the, the fact that she had to sacrifice so much to be in that position informs the relationship. The, um, the position of her being a woman in that society informs the relationship. And there's, there's incredible conflicting dynamics between her and the mother and the mother of, of those two boys and her past love which is the brother of Jamal al Faid, and it becomes a family drama that really anyone can identify with because we all have mothers and sons and daughters and brothers. Now it's not too late to catch up uh, right because I understand we can watch season one on Hulu right? You know better than I do. If you say Hulu, <laughs> then Hulu. Is it Hulu? Okay. Well, do you think you probably need to catch up? I mean, I don't know. You think you can jump in right now, or maybe it would be, you know, kind of difficult to, to follow along. I would recommend maybe catching up the first couple I mean, episodes, right? When a story's good, it can stand on its own, I guess, but it's like any other show. It's nice to have the background of how did these characters come about to that decision because season two starts with the devastating choice of whether or not we're going to execute Basam al-Fayy, Jamal's brother, my first love, um, because he has tried in the first season to um, take over the presidency. So do you execute a part of your family because that's the only, would you? I have no idea. If he had betrayed you, if he had betrayed you, and he is, and he's <laughs> threatening your leadership, and he's threatening everything you've worked on for, but also threatening the very concept of leading a, a, a state like Abu Dhabi, where strength is appreciated. Yeah, pretty intense. Now, has this so taken that's up a, just that's just the first? Yeah, has this taken up most of your time, or what do you have on your agenda? I only have you. <laughs> Thank you. you. We appreciate that. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, this is it. This is where Aww. it starts, begin, and um, I, 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 I focus on this show because it is also very personal to me. I think it is an important story to tell. I grew up in the Middle East, um, and I've seen and heard so many criticism about that part of the world, and so many of those opinions have been filtered news that do not represent these countries in, in, in a very authentic way, an honest and truthful way. So this has been something I've been very um, um, passionate and, and determined about, I guess. But I'm working on something else.
Okay, all right. Well, you are so uh, beautiful, so talented. Thank you so Thank much you. for taking some time to chat with us. Congratulations you, on the second season, and everyone will be glued to the TV. I know it. Great. Thank you. Thanks We've, for having me. Uh, we, of course, will have more on the second seat of, uh, season of Tyrant on our website, fox4morningblend.com. Cruel summer. Not if we can help it. Up next, how with a handful of simple tricks, you can turn up the heat without breaking a sweat so you can look your best all summer long. But first, a look at your Fox forecast and news headlines.